Okay, so say you just installed Steam or some other game that you really want to play with friends. Well, normally, if you were in Windows, you would just fire up Discord or use Steam's built-in chat. But say you wanted to install Discord on Elementary and you come here to the App Center and you type in Discord, no results. So what are we going to do? Well, normally we might try a app get update and you know, we then might search for Discord. But we don't really get anything. So what should we do? Well, fortunately we have a couple of solutions. We can, you know, just search for Discord and we could go download for Linux and get the dev package and install it that way. But the problem with doing that is that we always have to manually update the package ourselves whenever there is a new release. And that's not a lot of fun. So instead what we're gonna do is use something called Snap. And to get started with that, we need to install it. And what Snap is, is kind of like a repository, but it's a little bit different because what Snap does is it's cross distribution. So it can work on more than just Ubuntu based distributions or Debian based distributions. It can work on anything that supports Snap. So you get these packages that get updates like repositories, but they're bundled in a Snap format instead. Now, generally, if there is a package available through your repository for your distribution, you'd want to do it that way because it'll be better optimized and have more support. But in the event that you want automatic updates and it's available as a snap, you would want to install it as a snap instead of a manual dev package. Okay, so we have snap. So let's do sudo snap install discord. So this will go and get discord. and all of its dependencies. Now that this is finished, we would expect to be able to come up here and find Discord, but we can't, it's not there. Okay, well, given that we installed it, normally we would be able to also run it from command line. So let's try that. And we get an error that Discord is available in this directory, but snap bin is not included in the path environment variable. So what do we do? Well, we can echo our path. Gotta have a dollar sign there. And we see it's this whole long string and it looks like they're colon separated. Now we could copy this path And we could go echo path and append it some way that way, but we don't really want to do that. What we want to do is make this more permanent. And the way that we do that is by editing something called a bash RC file. So how do we find this file? Well, if we do an ls, we don't see anything like that. If we do an ls-l, still don't see anything. Okay, let's try an ls-a. Now we see this hidden file, this .bash RC file. This should exist for every user in Linux. So we're gonna edit our .bash RC file. I'm still gonna use nano. Again, don't wanna get into vim commands. So we're going to come all the way down to the bottom. Now, once we're here, what we need to do 
is somehow reference that existing path variable and add our snap path to it. So what we can do is use something called export. And then we're going to say our path, and this will set this path equal to this, equals slash snap slash bin. And then that semicolon or that colon that we saw separating the rest of our path and then dollar sign path. And what that does is imports the rest of this variable, this dollar sign path, into this string that we're creating and setting equal to path. So we're essentially prepending slash snap slash bin to our path. Okay, so if we export that and save it, then we have to type something special called source.bashrc. This tells our terminal to reload this bash profile. Now you won't have to do this every time you run your terminal. It's a one-off command. We run that and now every time you run your terminal, it'll re-import uh, that path correctly. So now if we try to run Discord, we actually get it and it's running as a command. And you can say, there you go. There is your Discord app. So now that you have Discord working, you may be wondering why we ran it from command line instead of from the applications menu. And the reason is if you follow all these steps and then come up here to the applications menu, Discord will not be here initially. And the reason is that change that we applied in the terminal will fix that applications menu but in order to get it to apply to the applications menu, we need to restart the desktop manager. And the easiest way to do that is just to come up here and log out and log back in. After you do that and you come back, you will have Discord here and you can launch it from there. You can do normal things like add it to the dock and you will be all set. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment if there is a different kind of video you would like to see or suggestions for what I can improve on. Hope you enjoyed. Take care.